Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share a new update to Excel called Smooth Scrolling. And this solves kind of an annoying problem that you might have been dealing with for the last 35 plus years or however long you've been using Excel. And I'll also share some tips and strategies to solve this problem if you're not on the latest version of Excel yet. So smooth scrolling allows us to scroll between a column width or row height. Let's take a look at a few examples where this can be a problem and how this new feature solves it. So here I've exported some product review data from a system. And of course, as you can see here, the values are wider than the default column width. So one thing we might do is just select all these columns and then double click one of the uh, column widths there to auto fit the columns. As you can see, some of these columns have become really wide. With the new smooth scrolling feature, we can actually scroll within these column widths here. So you can see this uh, column E, this review text column is very wide here, but I can scroll and scroll within the column. And when I release the mouse, it stops wherever I want it to stop. So if I only want to see the end of the column here and compare that to column F, the next column, or if I want to go back the other way and compare column E to column D, I can stop wherever I'd like. Same thing happens with row heights. So this is the same data here, but maybe instead of expanding the column widths, we wrap the text, which will make some of the row heights really tall. Uh, same thing here. I can either scroll with the scroll bar over here, or I can use a scroll wheel on the mouse. And as you can see, the scroll is really smooth here, and I can stop wherever I'd like. There's no more snap to grid like there was on older versions of Excel. So let's jump over to an older version of Excel and we'll see how this works and I'll share some tips uh, for dealing with this. Okay, so I'm now using Excel 2019 with the same data set. And in any prior version of Excel, prior to Microsoft 365 with this new update, we have more of a snap to grid behavior when we scroll and it can be a bit challenging to work with. So for example, if we wanna view column E here, first of all, when I scroll horizontally, the uh, window does not move with the scroll. So I can't preview what I'm going to see. Instead, we get a little screen tip there that shows that we should be landing in column E. So I'll just go ahead and release the mouse. And we've now landed in column E here. So we're viewing column E. But if I try and scroll to the left, I can kind of see part of column D and then part of column E, depending on how wide column D is. If I go over to the right to see column F, it snaps to the left side of column F and I can't see column E. And this can be even more of a challenge if you're on a smaller monitor or you've restored Excel down to make the application width smaller. In this case, you might not even be able to see the right side of column E to resize it. So I can't see the right side of it out here to put my text cursor there and then resize column E. And there's a few ways to solve this. Uh, first of all, you can right click column E and then choose column width. As you can see, the column width is 255 points, which is the maximum width for a column. So right here, we can just type a smaller number in. I'll type 50 in and hit enter. That will resize column E. And now I can get to the right side of it here and manually resize it. I'll go ahead and auto fit it again and show another solution, which is to use zoom. Now there's a few different ways to zoom on a sheet. You can hold down the control key and scroll with the mouse, or you can go down here to the zoom controls. And I'm just going to zoom out until I can see the right side of column E here. Now again, I can resize it, and then I can go zoom back to 100%. And the same thing happens here with row heights. So we jump over to this sheet on row heights. In this case here, the row is so tall that I can't even see the row number here in the row header over here on this side. I can see here that I'm in row eight. I can't see the row header here. So again, I can right click, choose row height to make this row height smaller. Or, and I'll just put a number in there like 100. Or you can use that same uh, zoom technique to zoom out, change the row height, and then zoom back in. And one additional quick tip if you're on an older version of Excel, you can actually press and release the scroll button on your mouse. And that will put you in this uh, mode where you can smooth scroll to the right or the left. The issue with this is that once you click the button again, it's going to snap back to the grid or snap to the column or row. So it's not a great experience and something I don't use very often, but I did want to bring it to your attention. So I'm back in the latest version of Excel for Microsoft 365. And I wanted to mention that that snap to grid behavior does still exist when you use the arrow buttons here to scroll. So if I hit the right arrow button, that's going to snap to each column as I click the arrow button and I go back to the left and that will snap to the columns as well. 
So the smooth scrolling just works when you use the scroll bar here. So I'll left click and hold the scroll bar. And then as I scroll left and right, as you can see, I see the preview. And then when I release the mouse button here, it lands me exactly where I've scrolled to. And this is really nice because it really gives you the best of both worlds, both that snap to grid and the smooth scrolling. So I'm curious to know what you think about this. Are you excited about this? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.